sick of it. We are still needing to anchor, so have tonight to deal with. Oh, there's a bird right here. Turn, what is it? Turn on the light. You touch this bird? Yes. Hey, dude, what are you doing? Ooh. Are you all right? Are you just back here pooping? You touch it. I did. I reached down. I went like this because I saw this thing, something dark, and I went down and I touched it, mm. and it was soft. You petted a bird. I, I petted him. All right, we'll leave him alone. Aww. You can stay if you want. We got a new pet. <laughs> you want to come inside? <laughs> he is. He's just, he's been out fishing all day. I know. And he's like, what do you guys got for me? You don't have to go. You done pooping? Oh my God. This sucks. Oh, yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, nice to have our uh, little guest here overnight. Woo! He hasn't watched the etiquette video. Nah. Hey, if you're gonna crash out, don't poop on the boat. He didn't get that uh, little <laughs> we memorandum. teach him how to use the head. Why is it so hard to figure it out? It's hard to figure out because the overall plan is a little uncertain. If we were dead set on leaving from Florida, we should probably take every little piece that we can get to get towards Florida. But if there was a piece of our plan that was just going direct to the Bahamas, sitting, waiting here, this isn't a bad place to be. This is a really pretty spot. Well, we decided to stay. And I'm really happy about it because it is so beautiful here. It's one of those places that you can't just come and rent a house and hang out here. You have to bring your boat here. And that makes it pretty special. So we're gonna explore Maybe the lighthouse and the beaches and hopefully go see the the wild horses. So I'm gonna go work out now. And this suit actually is is showing my body what it is I'm trying to accomplish, which is to hug it in. Okay? Tighten it in. You know, just like do it body. Come on. Actually how I found this suit is a Pilates teacher told me that she teaches Pilates in this suit. Because she hugs it in. She likes how it feels. So I'm going to go test it out. Okay, can we I'm going to be the blue superhero on Clarity. Luckily that's there's that's not that's too many boats around that's us. That's so I, I feel like our new friends, they'll probably get a good show. But I'll explain to them at lunch today what's going on. So do you need a cape, do you think? I do need, I can make one. Oh my god, a cape. Time for an adventure. Let's go see the horses. Simplicity is a good name. Yeah, I like that name. Oh, we're here on Shackleford Banks. Shackleford Island? Shackle. Sounds like an explorer. That's what it sounds like. It's pretty nice here. Feels good to get on land after a few days. We're gonna go find the wild horses. I'm gonna ride one. 
I would like to see that. <laughs> oh, I see a horse. Where? Oh my god. <laughs> we're we're acting it. like we've never seen a horse before. Well, I've never seen a wild horse. You've never seen a, you've seen a wild Where horse before. Where have I seen a wild horse? On the Black Col Stallion? That Colorado? <laughs> Utah? It's beautiful. It's all these horseshoe crabs turned upside down and being picked over by the birds. And I don't know what kind of birds these are, but they're kind of cute. They're like little comic book characters. Probably see all the fishing boats out and about. And um, they look like tuna. Tuna going after a little small fry or something like that. We should have our fishing pool. <laughs> Let's go get fishing. Let's get something good. What's up, dude? Are you back? What are you doing? Did you have a good day? Are you gonna poop there all night? Go! Go, go, go! Oh, he's opening his mouth at me. Go! Go, go! Go! go. <laughs> oh, he's defiant. I mean, I guess we should be glad you're not coming further into the cockpit. Then we would really have a problem. He's really tame. I know. Rodney. He obviously likes us. I feel like if we gotta clean his poop off every morning, I guess that's what we gotta do. What's this we? <laughs> you did a great job. All right, to catch you up to speed, we've been at Cape Lookout for 10 days now. And really the primary reason for that was this tropical storm Ada, which formed down in the Western Caribbean. It hit uh, Honduras, Nicaragua, Guatemala, and then it swung up to Cuba, Florida, which it zigzagged twice. Really, really hard to forecast this thing. Now it looks like the computer models are saying that Ada will be heading almost directly for us. And of course, it's gonna arrive overnight tonight into tomorrow. So, it should be an exciting stretch for us. We have let out some extra anchor chain, and we've got a good spot here. The holding is pretty good, and um, we're hopeful, but not excited to no. be doing this. <laughs> but it's so 2020, isn't it? <laughs> what have you done? Is this nacho, the... nacho man. I know that you are a nacho man. This is your uh, celebratory meal. Celebrate, celebrating the video? Yes. Not the storm. Not the storm yet. You don't get that yet. <laughs> it's going to be a long night, I can tell. Believe it or not, we want this front. We want this rain to come in because uh, that'll help to push whatever is left of Ada offshore. And it's going to be a real close call for us. Ada is going to be uh, probably. 10 to 25 miles within uh, within our anchorage here. Yeah. Sucks. But we let out more chain. We have officially 200 feet out. Our neighbors let out more chain. And uh, I think it's just, we're gonna hold great and it's not gonna be as bad as my mind would like to tell me. So I think we're just gonna get through it and tomorrow, Friday morning, mid-morning, we should be through it all. So it's about, I think, three o'clock our time and it's already getting dark. Well, we've got our warm weather gear out. Checking the most recent forecast. Now uh, Ada is just moving offshore from about Charleston. And it looks like it's gonna climb right up the coast and almost directly over our heads. The question is, how strong will it be? Um, reporting the map.
We're actually kind of healed over there for a second. Kind of like right now. That storm was downright annoying. It arrived just offshore this morning. So we're on the back side of it. We've got the north winds. Things are a-okay, but it was a bumpy night. Uh, we had to move after we drug anchor a couple times in what we thought was a very secure anchorage. So uh, we are bouncing around a bit here this morning out in the current, but hey, at least we're not dragging. Knock on wood. Trying something new today. Beyond breakfast. It's called the Beyond Hurricane Celebration <laughs> Breakfast. We're just beyond it. Yeah, so we were on anchor watch pretty much all night. The wind was in the mid 30s, but the anchor held. And I'm a little tired. Yeah, you let me sleep, so thank you. You're welcome. You gonna take a nap? Yes. The calm after the storm, it as is, they say. It is nice. And now we're pointed into the wind and the current hasn't <laughs> turned us sideways. Yeah, the boat's lying flat. Yeah, I think you learn in this lifestyle to really appreciate the good times. <sighs> you know, these cameras, the new ones, they really take a lot better pictures. But have you noticed how heavy they are? I can barely even hold this thing up anymore. <laughs> Let me feel. <laughs> I'm getting a workout. Woo! This thing weighs like three or four pounds. What's that say about me? We gotta hit the gym again. Yeah, last few days we've been good. Been doing our workouts on the tramp. Yeah, that's been a good habit to get into. I got a workout with uh, anchoring yesterday. You were a rock star, dude. Was that was a fun. tough one. It was. Man, I had those throttles like almost firewalled a couple times trying to keep the boat straight i came back here i could smell some diesel burning Woo! yeah it was a good teamwork <clears throat> when you got 200 feet of chain out there's a lot of uh a lot of time it takes to pull that chain up well that does it for this one thanks for watching everybody we continue our way south and unfortunately we encountered some more bad weather that's coming up with next week's video. And special thanks to our growing list of patrons. We really could not do this without you. Yeah, we mentioned the new camera gear uh, just a second ago. That's thanks to you. We really appreciate uh, you guys helping us make this possible. All right, take care. See you next week. Bye.